Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope this uh, video don't cut off on me, but I've been, the Lord's been having me open up the Bible to Isaiah a lot lately. And uh, I've been have been being real down and just feeling real drained in the spirit because of the war of the good and evil in the spirit room that we don't see, but it's going on every day. It's the tug of our souls between Satan and God. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 21 and I'm going to read it all the way to through chapter 45 halfway through. Remember these O Jacob. This is the way God feels about us through Jesus Christ nowadays. Remember these O Jacob and Israel for you are my servant. I have formed you. You are my servant. O Israel you will be you will not be forgotten by me. He's talking about Israel but this is how he feels about all his children and we are now his children through grace. I have blotted out like a thick cloud your transgressions, and like a cloud your sins return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing, O heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout your lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, you mountains, O forest, and every tree in it. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and glorified him in Israel. So he's redeemed us and glorified us. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, and he who formed you from the womb, he formed us from in our mother's womb. I am the Lord who makes all things, who stretches out the heavens all alone, who spreads abroad the earth by, by myself, who frustrates the signs of the babblers and the divers and the drives di, diviners mad, who turns wise men backward and makes their knowledge foolishness, who confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messengers, who says to Jerusalem, You shall be inhabited, to the cities of Judah you shall be built, and I will raise up her waste places. Who says to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up your rivers? <clears throat> Who says to Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and he shall perform all my pleasure? Saying to Jerusalem, you shall be built, and the temple, your foundation, shall be laid. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings, and loose the armor of kings, to open before him a double doors, the double doors, which is making it easy for him, so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crook places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I am the Lord, who call you by your name and God of Israel, for Jacob my servant's sake and Israel my elect. I have even called you by your name. I have named you, though you have not known me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you, though you have not known me, that they may know me from the rising of the sun to its setting, that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. Rain down, you heavens, from above, and let skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to him who strives with his maker. Let the pot, the pot shared strive with the pot shared of the earth. Shall the clay say to him who forms it, What are you making? Or shall your handiwork say, He has no hands? Woe to him who says his, to his father, What are you be, begetting? Or to the woman, What have you brought forth? Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his maker. Ask me of, the, of things to come, Concerning my sons and concerning the works of my hands, you command me. I have made the earth, I have created man on it. I, I my hand stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts I have commanded. I raised up, I ra have raised him up in righteousness. I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city and let my exiles go free. Not the price nor reward, not for price nor reward, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord, the labor of Egypt and merchants. Dice of Cush, and the Sabines, men of stature, shall come over to you, and shall they shall be yours. They shall walk behind you, they shall come over you in chains, and they shall bow down to you. They will make supplication to you, saying, Surely God is in you, and there is no other, there is no other God. Okay. <clears throat> That's how he feels about us. I also got these little cards that I, you read every day with verses on them. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. Psalms 34, 15. Blessed is the man who 
perseveres under trial because when he has stood to the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. James 1.12 We pray in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please in him every way, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in knowledge of God. Colossians 1.10 I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand. I have, I who set the heavens in place, who laid the foundations of the earth, and who, and who say to Zion, you are my people, says the Lord. Isaiah 51, 16. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. If the sun's if the sun sets you free, you will be freed indeed. John 8.36 The Lord grants sleep to those he loves, which is rest. Peace of mind that surpasses all understanding. Psalms 127.2 The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Psalms 34.17 Jesus said, Blessed are those who, who have not seen and yet believed. John 20.29 20, which are those that are saved through grace, through the faith and redemption of Jesus Christ. Anyone after the resurrection of Jesus that never seen him but have faith in him. Blessed are those people, which is us. I love you guys. God bless you.